my god, this is not happening. I can't believe this. This is not happening. Babe! Babe! Yes, sir, I'm coming. God, I can't believe I did this. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Babe, guess what? What is it? Please tell me. Please, just guess. Okay, your lottery game entered. Exactly! Uh, you're so good in guessing. You know what? I just won 3 million naira and I'm so so happy. Can I take you out? No, I don't wanna go out. Okay, should I get you the Gucci bag you talked about? No, I don't want to say anymore. Then what do you want me to do for you? Hmm? Just say it and I will do it. You seem so happy. I am, baby. I am. Can you do me a favor? What favor, baby? Just say it. Promise me that anything I say you should do, you are going to do it without much change or much questioning and argument. I promise. Cross your heart. I cross my heart. Baby, I want us to adopt a child so that it will ease the pain we always feel about our childlessness. Please, that's all I ask of you. Hmm. Baby, you know, I... Don't complain. Remember your promise. Hmm. Fine. We adopt a baby. Since that will make you happy. Because I want you to be happy like I am. Yeah, I'm happy now. Really? But wait though. Which one are we adopting? Boy or girl? I want boy. No, I want girl. You know you're the one that brought the idea of adopting. So we'll go with my own wish of the gender. Alright then, as long as you're happy. I'm just pretending cause I'm hoping we'll get to this. Babe, I want to ask you something. Go on, baby. To what extent do you love me? Be truthful. I love you to infinity, baby. I love you to the world ends. Why all this question? I wanted to be sure that I'm not making a mistake because I've made so many mistakes in the past. You are not making mistakes, sweetie. I mean every single thing I've told you. Okay, well, let me just believe you. You know, I've been thinking lately concerning your certificate and your job. And um, I feel like helping you out since we are now one. Aww. I have this friend of mine that I will introduce you to and he will give you a good job that you will love in the company that he manages. It is a very big company owned by a woman and that my friend is the manager. So once I tell him that you are me and I'm you, he will give you the job. Oh my god. You mean you want to help me get a good job? Uh, what would I have done without you? You are a saint, baby. How can I repay you back all this favor? You can only repay me back by loving and being faithful to me. That's all I need from you. Baby, I'll be faithful to you till I die. Aww. I promise. Just make sure you keep your promise. Is it because you think I forgave you? I'm just pretending cause I'm hoping we'll get through with this I might be mad in love with you Ma please, you need to look at this account What for? Am I an accountant? Ma, the account is incorrect. I think they are making mistakes They won't mind paying them Anybody who makes mistakes in his accounting Fire the person and get a replacement But ma, there is a problem your husband is the one making the mistake. That's why I had to bring it to you. What is your position in this company? The managing director, ma. And what is your duty? To manage the company, ma. Good you know your work in this company. This is your work. Anybody who makes mistake in this company, be it whosoever, fire the person and get a better person to do the work. Do you hear me? Your order is my command, ma. Good. The next time you bring this nonsense to me, you will lose your job. Now, go and make announcement to everybody to put their job first and every other thing secondary. Alright, boss. I'm just pretending cause I'm she has told me everything about you and then um, you have the job. Eh? Ta ah, is a lie. For this hard country, you will just give me work just like that without me begging or saying anything. Sister. I can defend myself. I can defend my certificate, sir. 
if you employ me in this your company no i no need she already did all that for you you just have to start work just like that ah what would i have done without her you will be given a brand new company car a house and other things as follows is a lie is a lie come my brother you and i knows that things are hard in this country <laughs> yes okay. how, how will you employ somebody and you give the person house and a car my brother please be telling me the truth because it seems to me like i'm dreaming with all this thing you are saying here mr kenneth the position i'm giving you in this company comes with a house and a car or else you don't want it it's not by force no are they crazy <laughs> i want it please but tell me tell me the truth who that is giving me this work you yourself when they employ you did they give you house and a car it seems you don't need the job goodbye and have a nice day no 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 ah uh, ah uh, with the verse oh, with the quick verse it's just that everything looks strange to me anyway thanks for the job my god will bless you in abundance bless you too come if you want to work longer in this company then you have to avoid the boss lady that's the owner of this company because she's hot tempered and she might fire you if you cross her path. She works with you guys too. I have warned you and you have to put your work first and every other thing secondary. Don't be surprised. I won't be the one to fire you. She will herself. Ah, no more. Problem no the finish. Anyway, thanks for the job. You're welcome. Bro, what is really wrong? I saw the way she maltreats you. Is it because she have money? My brother, Ike Goro. I suffer as if I'm not the man again. I go through her every day that passes. Bro, can't you just man up one day and give her a befitting slap? Jesus! To let her know that you are still the man. <laughs> That's if I want to rot in prison. Her dad won't leave me alive. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. I just pray I will get freedom one day. Bro, I feel your pain. I don't know why some rich people are harsh and wicked. Even we, her workers, experience her with her here, let alone you. But is there any plan you're making towards getting yourself free from her? Bro, no plan, no. No plan at all. I just wish that one day she would tell me to pack my things and get out of her house. That's the day I shall be set free. You know, I cannot just decide to go myself. Because her dad picked me up from the street where I was suffering and cleaned me, sheltered me and gave me a good life. So along the line, her daughter liked me and that's how I got into her bondage. So I cannot just live on my own or else she asked me to go. Now I see where the smoke is coming from. Bro, I feel your pain. You just have to man up and take heart. Let me even ask, does she do anything at home? Like cooking and all these things as a woman. For where? She doesn't do. I'm the one cooking, making the dishes, and doing all the house chores. And I've asked her to get a maid that will be doing all this for us. But she said what am I doing that can't be doing all those things? How will I be eating her food and expect her to get someone to do the house chores? So I'm left with no option. Anything she says is a go for me. I feel your pain bro. Take heart. Everything will be okay one day. All I know is that with this her attitude, she will never make a home and she will regret it at last. That you are poor doesn't mean that you don't have a say in your life. And what are you two Ido doing by this time? We are supposed to be working. Working, you said. During lunch time. If you're brave enough, you will know that you are supposed to be having lunch with your husband now and not standing here questioning about. How dare you talk to me in that manner? Do you realize you are talking to? <laughs> Mana, you said. So you know what is mana, and you walk in here mannerlessly without greeting. No respect for two grown-up men like us, and you have the guts to stand here and talk about manners. Do you think the world is at your feet? What do you always feel like? Boss, you need to walk in other people's shoes to feel what they always felt when you portrayed this your non talent attitude. Don't let the whole world to hate you, cause if they do, you will hate yourself as well. I'm fired, I know. Don't stress yourself saying it, cause I know that's your next speech. You don't have any other thing reasonable to say other than that. But the truth has to be told to you. Change and be useful to yourself. 
Learn how to treat people fairly so you won't regret tomorrow. Have a nice day. Is he your friend or what? I don't know, but I think you should think about what he just told you and put it into practice. What? Am I dreaming or something? The both of them have the gut to work out on me. We shall see.